Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Cheap Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. September 2nd, 2021. 9 2 2 0 oh, 2 1. Boy, there's a lot of twos there. Sounds like I'm trying to get something out from between my teeth. Two, two, two. Anyway, uh, stick around today because uh, somewhere during this video, I've got a little surprise for you guys. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, I uh, texted my sister, who is uh, back on the East Coast in New England, and they actually got the remnants of that uh, Hurricane Ida, which they called a tropical depression or something. And it caught everybody with their pants down up there. They, it was a big surprise. They thought they were going to get three to six inches of rain throughout the whole day and they they ended up with like four inches of rain in an hour so there was flooding everywhere she sent me some pictures of uh, uh, route 24 out there in massachusetts and uh, uh, the two cops standing there on the side of the road up to their waist in water uh, they had the whole uh, freeway shut down uh, they don't call them freeways back there it's uh, that's a, just a Route 24, state route. But anyway, um, it seems like uh, just just property damage and lots of, she works for an insurance company and there are lots of insurance claims. Um, people with three feet of water in their basements and stuff like that. And uh, they had to shut down the DMV, or which, what they called a vehicle registration uh, building. And... Uh, uh, apparently they had three feet of water in their basement and was getting into the electrical circuits and their lights went out and that was enough of that so they evacuated the building and shut down so real mess gonna be a lot of cleanup but the pictures sent uh, showed a lot of green something I don't have here all I have is the green from the that one run of underground water that runs across here and goes out that way so one of these days i'll dig down to that i'm thinking if my uh my friend andy comes out next time what we might do is do some prospecting in my pond i'll get my uh post hole auger out and uh drill um holes in a four foot by four foot square and uh then we'll grab some shovels and dig that out and uh work the 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 uh, diggings and see if we come up with any little sparklies some some mellow yellow as I like to call it because boy when I see that yellow I really get mellow are you kidding I jump up and down so anyway I just sit down here taking a break because I just did a bunch of chores and I'm gonna have to learn to tie that thing down because I Winds got it again last night. They're running at about 14 to 22 right now. Um, we're getting the winds every day again. And uh, tore up another flag. So I'll have to go to town and buy some new flags because I'm all out. Of course, uh, I think they're on sale this weekend, but uh, that's a good thing too. But flags are expensive. And this wind keeps e eating them up like a teenager and a, a pack of french fries. McDonald's fries. Uh, speaking of the McDonald's fries, I understand that the thing that made those fries so famous and everybody wanted those fries. They, they're, they're so delicious. They, they're just better than anybody else's fries. Everybody wanted them. Everybody wanted them. And apparently what it was is they, uh, they used... Um, uh, beef tallow in their um, oils that they use to cook the french fries. They don't do that anymore now that everybody's on these uh, non-saturated fat diets and that stuff. They changed all of the recipes and the fries are still good at McDonald's but they're not as good as they used to be. And uh, anyway, let me get up and start moving around here a little bit. I'm gonna move on down to the chicken coop. I got my my basket down there already because uh, 
I cleaned the chicken coop out a little while ago, or at least did a quick clean in there. And uh, I noticed that there's quite a few eggs. It's been a couple of days since I've been out there. And uh, I think the last time I was out there was when I went out there and um, did the video and I showed you guys everything that was going on in there and talked about um, my one hen that's been uh, roosting on those eggs or uh, brooding on those eggs <coughs> since uh, June. And uh, that I was going to have to clean those eggs out when she got out of there. So we'll get involved in that a little bit deeper. But let me get out here. I'm watching out for these sharp rocks like that. Yeah, I've got something on my feet, but still, my heel's not 100% right now, and I don't want to step on another one of those and uh, have it remind me. Here's my egg basket. And uh, I know, I know, don't keep all your eggs in one basket. Oh, jeez. So anyway, I just hooked it here so the wind wouldn't blow it away. And uh, this light is here for a reason, too. I'm going to bring that inside with us. So, let me get this door opened up here. And I've got to change the handle on here, because this one's broken. And... Look what I got down here. There's a little surprise, huh? Well, I got to get her back up there. Or get it back up there with Mama. Okay. Because Mama's got more of them in there. Look at that. Okay, here, Mama. Hey. So there's at least two of them in there. Mama's going to clean her off. But uh, that's what I was talking about with the eggs. So today I put fresh water in here and I put some uh, fresh food in here so Mama can stay with the chicks for a little while. And she's still nesting on those eggs, so... We'll see what happens, see if any more of them come out. Good thing I didn't clean them out right away when I thought of it the other day. So anyway, I got a bunch of eggs in here. And I got a bunch of eggs in here. And I got a bunch of eggs in here. So I've got to do some cleanup here. So I think I'm going to cut this video off here. There's a... Some of the girls outside, those are the New Hampshire Reds, and uh, we'll see how things go with that. We're just going to get down to about 65 at night, so uh, the uh, babies need to stay in with Mama. I'll check again later uh, before I go to bed. She's got her uh, wings spread to keep them warm. It's getting down in the 60s, it's a little chilly for the babies. And then I'll... Uh, I'll get a hold of them in the next day or so, and I'll sex them and see uh, see if we got roosters or hens. And uh, I'll show you how that's done in a very simple way. And uh, we'll see how that works out. So all the, uh, the hens have gotten their feathers back except this mama. She's growing them back a little at a time, but they're coming in because winter is coming in. So she'll start growing those back in. And I'm trying to keep her up her, her protein. But uh, I see the black on the hens. That's because of uh, the papa is, uh, of course, um, Brewster. All right. Well, that's about all I have. I'm going to cut this off. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got subscriptions going on. Thank you, everybody. This is G-Bear signing off.